Thursday of the third week of Lent. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts, and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The response is, If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Where do you stand? It's a pointed question that gets asked a million times every day in the corporate boardroom, at the city council, in the White House, at the PTA meeting, and over and over inside our homes. Where do you stand? What are you really about? Are you with me or against me? Often our answer would confuse and amaze even the Oracle of Delphi. What did that platitude mean? Anything? Very often, nothing at all, just a stall and filler. But for those of honest heart, the question persists and demands an answer, what are we really for? 
are we with the Lord or not? The vanilla comfortableness of our culture, where to go along is to get along, is not enough. For this is God asking the question, the one who gave us life and who sustains it day by day? It's a fair question and we have to choose. After a certain point, treading water is no longer an option. And so our answer comes from the only place that counts, not fine words from the lips, but silent words from the inmost heart, I am yours, Lord, and all I have is yours. Speak, Lord, for I am listening. The moment we speak those words from deep within will be the first moment of true freedom in all our lives. So waste no more time, speak the words from within, and be free.